You know, a lot of girls be thinking my songs are about them, but this is not to get confused. This one's for you. Baby, you my head man. Hey, y'all. Like I'm Kanisha D. Cole Sweet here on YouTube. And if anything lifestyle or beauty or family related, even nursing, piques your interest, this is the channel for you. So if you enjoy watching this video, consider subscribing. So let's get right into it. My three week tummy tuck update, right? So this tummy tuck situation has been a whirlwind. And y'all, while I'm talking, I'm just going to put on some eyelashes. And if I'm still talking, I'm going to continue on doing my makeup and do a light beat. So... I had my tummy tuck on December 19th of 2023. This thing said to use aluminum foil and not. So I had my tummy tuck procedure on December 19th, 19th, 2023. And I did it first thing in the morning and everything seemed to go like really well during the surgery so in pre-op i was told i was gonna get drains and that ended up not happening so he actually told me a couple things beforehand um in pre-op i was told my pre-op appointment i was told that i would have drains during my um, markup, when he marks you up before the procedure, and if you don't know, a markup is just where they take a permanent marker and they write on your skin to map out where they're going to lipo you and where they're going to um, basically etch out, like where they want your muscles to come into. So... I, my procedure, I actually got the abdominoplasty and lipo of the abdomen and lipo of the flanks. So, I was told that my skin above my belly button, oh my god, I can't talk and work at the same time. So, I was told that, I was told that the skin above my belly button... I need to get some on the one for one. How about I record this and then do a voiceover? Because, yeah, this shit ain't working. Do it at the same time. So I had the procedure on December 19th at 6 a.m. In preparation, I had to be NPO, which is nothing but mouth for eight hours shower with HIPAA cleanse and put on Ted holes prior to getting out of the bed the morning of surgery. I had to shave the area that would be affected. So, you know, this is this is near big moves and my bikini is on. So I did this with weed and I took my first dose of my antibiotic, which was the night before. So during the pre-op period, he marked me up, introduced me to the second surgeon who would be involved. He also marked me up using like a permanent marker. One was blue, one was black. Um, one indicated what was going to be lipo, the other indicated the muscle repair. Um, initially, he told me that the skin above my navel wasn't stretched and he really wouldn't be able to pull it all the way down to my incision line. So he would have to make another cut from under my navel um, and basically like leave some of the skin that I was trying to get rid of and it would create like an upside down T. He stated that he didn't need drains nor the T um, once he was in surgery. So I was excited because um, I do have a hyperpigmentation issue. So I knew it would cause me to have like a dark line from my navel all the way down to my incision line. So I'm glad he didn't have to do that. So 
The procedure lasted about two and a half to two hours and 45 minutes. I was out for an additional 40 minutes after the surgery was completed. Um, it was funny because I was having a dream about going to have the procedure done when I woke up. Um, when they put you under general anesthesia, you're literally asleep within seconds. So once I got onto the table and they started my IV, um, yeah, once it was in, I started to pray, y'all. I literally went to sleep in the middle of praying, but you know, God knows your girl heart. <laughs> oh man, so I was released home in an abdominal binder. Um, the meds I was given included Narco for pain, Flexeril for muscle spasms, and Keflex, which is an antibiotic to prevent an infection. I was instructed to walk every one to two hours to prevent blood clots. So every now and then I would be able to walk alone, um, but there were times when I would have to get my husband to help because I was literally bent over so much and I couldn't stand upright at all. So I was scheduled to go back three days later for follow-up. I forgot to mention that the surgeon called my husband um, the night of the surgery to check on me. So, like, that was awesome. Um, anyway, on day three, they went in to check my bandages to make sure, like, they weren't saturated with blood or whatever um, and clean my navel. Uh, I was put back in my abdominal binder at that point. So... At week one, I had to do another follow-up appointment, which was on December 26th. So this was um, the day I was placed into my Faha OED, y'all. It was hell. It was super tight. I was thinking, like, how in the hell am I going to be able to do this by myself? Sometimes my husband would have to help, but it is what it is. Anyway, she cleaned my label, removed the saturated bandages, replaced them. Um, then most of the um, bandages that was fused initially were still in place so that was good because they didn't drain a whole lot i couldn't take a shower um at first for that first week but i was you know um after week one but i decided to not take one because they said make sure if you take it like your incision is completely dry and honestly you're gonna be in a rush so um, I decided not to resume showers like at this time. I know me. It is what it is. So on this same day, I noticed that like the knuckles or like the joints in my fingers were really achy. It was weird because I hadn't done anything to cause them to be sore. Anyway, the next day I began to have little short pains um, in my chest, like closer to my right shoulder. It was nothing too crazy, so I just ignored it. Um, I really be trying not to complain about my body because, um, yeah, my husband, I would say he should have checked the warranty on me because I already know I'd be getting on his nerves. Anyway, the day after that, this was, this brought us to like December 28th, I started having pain in my back on the right side, like around my bra strap. It like started really randomly as I was reclined because I was still sleeping in it, sleeping in my recliner. Um, it was on and off, so it was definitely intermittent. Um, but if I would sit up, I felt like it stopped. So like after about 20 minutes of the back and forth between sitting up and lying back, um, it was continuous and it became difficult to catch my breath. And I immediately thought, oh my God, I have a blood clot in my lungs. So at this point, like 20 minutes later, I'm crying and I woke my husband up, um, told him that I needed to go to the hospital. He was like, you think you just need to call a surgeon? I'm like, no, I need to get to the hospital. I think I have a blood clot in my lung. So we went to the hospital and it felt like everybody in the mall was there on this day. Like, you know, I'm not even surprised because that's what stuff happened for me. So my vital signs was crazy. My blood pressure was elevated. My heart rate was 120. My respirations were fast and I was still short of breath. So it was a mess. I ended up having an EKG. They drew blood. So while we were waiting, my husband was like, um, you say your Faha is tight. So you think if you just take it a loose that, you know, it'll get better. You think that's the reason? So I unbuttoned it and the pain went away. I'm like, oh shit, that's crazy. 
So I ended up telling the nurse that the pain went away and I, I would just go home. I was fine. So she told the doctor and he was like, well, your EKG was abnormal. So I want you to wait on other results. Um, I'm like, oh, Lord, abnormal how? So he told me I had inverted T waves. So they came back and said that I had two blood clots in my right lung. So that sharp pain that I was feeling on and off was a blood clot too. Um, I was admitted, they gave me blood thinners, and come to find out, I had other health problems, child. So, I look at it as cup half full because you girl wasn't about to go to the doctor in no time soon, and that allowed me to um, start getting things in place and getting checked up on. And I ended up on blood thinners. They say I'll be on the blood thinners for three months, and here we are. Somebody at my job is like that. Hang on. We be told well, I, I probably that used to be on. like that. To. Huh? I said I probably used to be like that. I need to change y'all. Oh, that. can I see the drinks they have? Oh, they don't have the menu right here? The menu is up there. Uh, Christmas stuff. <laughs> they don't have a whole You've lot of You've only tried coffee? Huh? You've only tried coffee? Yeah. Well, I had a, uh... Do they have, like, do they have, like, um... Like Starbucks would always get what? a frappuccino. That's what it's called. Do they have frappuccino? You can get any of your drinks blended, like in the frappuccino style. Do they have fruity drinks? Oh, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. What you get? I'm gonna get a Golden Eagle. Oh, I can't see nothing. Else. They got smoothies: strawberry oh. smoothie, green apple, and mango. Who's got strawberry? Have you tried it? I haven't. I just realized they, um... I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm gonna try something that you didn't, <laughs> you didn't have. Yeah. Oh, well, they definitely cheaper than what's... They're what much they cheaper call? than Starbucks. Hello. Hi. Just, let's see, hang on. Um, yeah, I do have an app. May I have a medium golden eagle sugar-free with light ice? Yeah. That's your big guy. Um, and then a no, a medium uh, strawberry smoothie. And then um, some of the lemon poppy seed muffin tops. Just one? Yeah. And that'll do it. Yeah, awesome. So, medium ice, golden eagle, sugar free with white ice, and then a uh, medium strawberry smoothie, and one lemon poppy seed um, muffin top. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> well, we can't have tips, but we get them. But we're not supposed to take them. Not supposed to take them. Yeah. You know what? I I just seen a Bible verse. It was like, don't. It was basically saying, don't wait <laughs> to pay your um employees. You seen that? Don't it was like it was, I seen this um that said don't let the sweat dry from your workers before you pay them. It was something like that, and I was like, they can wake me wait two weeks. You so silly, girl. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I seen it. I was like, oh, nobody's playing with you. I gotta find. Need to send it to Chick Fil A. They had me off on Sunday, but have me waiting two weeks to, for my payment. 
It's hard to, there's so many, it's hard to find. This is similar. It, I didn't read this one, but it's, I mean, it's pretty close. to pay his wages each day before sunset because we're he is poor. poor and depends on them. <laughs> Otherwise, he may cry out to the Lord against you and you will be guilty of sin. I hadn't heard that one. Hi. Y'all had a medium ice school to go sugar free with white ice? And a medium strawberry smoothie with a lemon poppy seed muffin top. Yep. Awesome. I'll get that poppy seed muffin top. Okay. Uh, this is the first time I had this. Oh, I never had it. They look the same. Chick fil A and Whataburger. Yeah. Whataburger? Not Whataburger. Wingstop. I've had a Wingstop, Wingstop at Brunch. It, it tastes the same. It like you know it is. is. Yeah. It's probably from the same manufacturer. And I was looking at Starbucks and theirs look similar, pretty similar too. I'm pretty sure it might not be the same, but it looks similar. I don't think I've ever had uh, Starbucks. I really like Chick fil A brownies. I'm going to try that 7 Up, 7 Eleven brownie. I didn't like it. I don't know if it's because I waited too long. But you can't wait too long to eat them brownies, neither. They get more. Look at some of the oh, they about something in it. That's true. Oh, it's gonna bring, I'm gonna bring you a cut. That's my drink. But when I get off on time. If you let it sit, it'll get real melty. I don't like it, of course, but they be real soft. When we let them sit directly on the um, thing. On that one with that. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Usually when there's like maybe three, four cookies left, that's the best ones. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And may I have a couple straws? Two straws? Yes, please. Of course. Have a Thank you. Night. You do the same. Thank you. Give me a napkin out of there. The cup is sticky. She wiped it off, but the towel must be sticky. Because at Chick fil A, we be talking about who gonna work there for the rest of their life. Because <laughs> they just stay the way they act. They be taking it so seriously. Like people our age. Mm -hmm. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. That's actually a good characteristic to go. Fast food. It's only because it's fast food I say it like well, that. Well, I mean, I can. I they can make understand. some money though. I think they make some. The directors, they have to make some decent money. Because they stay. You think they don't? You uh, you see how much business y'all get? Well, I actually like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Let me taste it. That's it. Oh, I'm in Jack in a box. Pop this open. What you mean you miss it? Smoothie. Oh yeah, those were like one of the best ones. It wasn't too much banana. I hate smoothies that Ooh. taste like banana and then strawberry. Because banana is such a strong flavor. I need to go on. Oh, they should have had these sitting out. It's cold, it's freezing cold. This is dense. This reminds me of something, it's thick. Think I'm what it remind me of something. Don't think the flavor is bad, it's the texture. It's the texture, probably to sit out and heat up. Probably. I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. 
What's poppy seed? What does it do? It's just a decoration? Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> like parsley to me? about how she don't like jack in the box i kind of don't like it no more like it's, okay. it's not as good as i feel like it used to be maybe because i'm young like it. it starts flashing red and white when you're going too fast what that speed sign um it's possible i thought i just seen it unless it was a police it might have it might have been a sign yeah oh yeah them signs yeah dang how much oh you can't go through Wait, what's 45, the speed? I think 45 is the speed limit. Oh. Kids must have got, was getting ran over before they decided to make a sign. No. I thought usually they put stuff in Nah, they do it because something happens too much. Or Either something didn't happen or they got too many complaints about people speeding through the area. Oh, or that. I feel like tea. I, it's I'm, like I'm got chills. I'm cold. My butt is hot because the heat, seat warmers are on. But, but your body's still cold. You want some more of this? Not right now. I'm gonna let it warm up. Oh, let me. I'm thinking what the flavor remind me of. Yeah, I'm eating something like. Those best cough kisses, I think they taste like a fancy graham cracker. Kind of sort of, yeah. So do we not have that Bisco spread everybody be talking about? I've never seen it. Is it Walmart? Want some. Just cause. I don't is know that Walmart? It, it is. I heard it's expensive. It's not like a can't draw peanut butter. Uh -huh. What would I put it on though? I want to try it. A bagel? Not really. wanted to say I have it. <laughs> I gotta hide it for more of me. Okay. They sure gonna make a sandwich out of it. So good. Well, I wonder how, ooh, on them cinnamon rolls? Or not really. You know them little fancy the little cinnamon rolls that we making? What we would make? The cream? Heavy cream? That would be good on there. Oh yeah, that would be really good. That's why you're cold too. Whoa. Ain't it crazy some Sonics don't let you remove the ice? Yes. Yeah. Ain't that the one by QT? They don't let you? You said the one by... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. I think so. Because honestly, what I would do is I'd be like, there's too much ice in here and give it back. I didn't know people... Well... I don't feel like you can do that. Because I remember at Sonic, you filled the cup almost fully with ice. Like yeah. a third? It's third? A third? A third is, I mean, not a third, probably two, I mean, probably three fourths of the way with ice. Three fourths of the way, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh my God. Take this. Throw it out the window in a second. Why are these people right here? Now why are these people behind us? I'm just gonna have a window roll down. Girl, don't you roll that window down? Roll that window back up. I'm cold. Ooh. I know they say take iron once a day, but Lord. I forgot that jacket. Oh, oh. Not okay. But that could be why you're cold? Yeah, because my iron is well. It's crazy because it's, it's so hot in here. It's so hot in here. Child. My neighbor. You need to sit on that heat warmer. 
I'm on it. I'm talking about when you get home too. Oh. I seen the long one. I don't remember where I seen it at. The full body one? Mm-hmm. You know, I showed with using it when I was sick. I don't remember what I had. But I don't know how you feel because I was still cold under all them covers. Mm -hmm. that's how I feel. When you have chills. Oh, did I tell you? You know what I heard? Um, when you're starting to freeze to death, your body gets hot. I've heard that people would take like their clothes off because they're too hot and it'll make them like freeze faster. Is that true? I doubt it. Huh? I doubt it. Your body does your body does doesn't try to heat up and then they get it does. Hot and they start. Yeah. But it's not like you get super duper hot. Your body does try to compensate for it not um receiving heat. Dash cam. People should have dash cams on their car. You should get one. I heard it help either yourself or other people who've gotten in car accidents. Mm -hmm. It'll be a help to them too. You know, some yeah. people might not care, but yeah. you never know if a rich person, you know. Yeah. <laughs> If someone got mistakenly put in jail, they just get some money. Chris, what are you talking about? You never seen that? Where they um accidentally like arrested the wrong person and they spent like a lot of years in jail. And they gave them money. Like a reparations for accidentally uh um, Yes. You never heard of that? Yeah. But it's I don't think it's no lot a lot of money. Uh oh. If they do it. Give me something making me work on New Year's. I thought it would be closed. Child mm -hmm. had to work too. You are? Do you get paid double too? Mm -hmm. My stomach is bothering me now. Shoot, I can't get it together. That's a good question. Don't look like you're gonna find out till you pull up. <laughs> Caesar snack snack. Snack snack. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Kanisha, get it together. You're getting hot? I'm not I'm feeling. You ain't eat today. I know. Man, Lord ain't eating today. They need to eat. They ain't been eating. Well, they've been snacking, but they ain't been eating full meals. Which makes me wonder, how is Lauren still so big? <laughs> you heard me? Like, she's not fat, but she's like, my, she's so... <laughs> I'm feeling weird. How do you feel? Like, off? Off. Oh. It was much 
car with it. Oh shit. That was it's right over there. I got on this bridge. I wasn't supposed to get on this girl's bridge. It's right there. You know where you're going though? It's, <laughs> it's right on the bridge? There. I know where you're going, but then you go here. I just gotta look, look back on the Even Kaya said it, and I'm surprised. You know, she ain't picky. And it's been on TikTok. I see. I've been wanting to get some, but I want to actually go. I was going to order some, but I didn't think it would be good. They probably done dropped it on the floor and picked it back up and put it in my box. So. I mean, when we're in the drive through, they probably do the same thing, but. <laughs> it's that new Chick fil A. Ain't this the new one? I think it is. The one over there? I think that's why Helen was working at. Oh, I ain't even see them on the side of me. I didn't see no light on that man. Mm. Oh. I thought this was the one she was talking about. She said the newer one. Is this a new one? This I've one never is seen it. This one and the one by Red Bird is new, so. She worked at either one of them, I don't remember. She pointed it out one time. I think she said they could see quick because they tried to have her outside the second hour. I would have quit too, too. It was like 110 degrees outside. You can't do it. I don't know. Being a pass straight out. I would have left too, especially depending on how often they have you outside. We was doing 30 minute rotations. They was doing full two hours. Mm -mm. That's the only reason I was fine with That's it. too much. Oh yeah. Well, you gotta stand up for yourself because guess what, that child, the business gonna keep on rolling whether or not you hit the ground or not. Mm. They gonna still keep on frying the fucking nuggets. <laughs> but yeah, good thing she didn't, cause who knows? Especially if she know what she can't tolerate and she have bad asthma. Uh huh. So yeah, that'll be the trigger her asthma. She didn't have asthma attack and everybody else still at work while she in the hospital. No, for real. But yeah, no. Don't. You gotta stand up for yourself. Yeah, I think she said she asked to come in and they told her she would have to stay outside again. It was something she said. Let somebody else do it, it's okay. Mm. You know, a lot of girls be thinking my songs are about them, but this is not to get confused. This one's for you. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever.